our next stop and we will be there for one month. Woohoo! life we like looking at freedom well we kind of ended our 2021 camping trip or tour whatever you want to call it back in Florida which is where we are now sunny probably in the 70s almost 80 degrees it's highway 19 in front of us so where are we at we are at Gulf Coast RV Park Crystal River's 10 miles that way. This is the city of Inglis slash Yankee Town. In fact, Elvis Presley's movie, Follow That Dream, was made here in Inglis. They call it Follow That Dream Highway, which is up there and it goes to the Gulf of Mexico, which is right that way. It's not far at all. So, we're going to do a little tour of this. Um, it's not an individually owned park, it's a management company park, I believe. So it's not a state park or a county park or any of those, but it's a nice, it's a nice park. So we're going to show you what it's all about. All right, let me uh, let me uh, correct an error that I made. This is Gulf Coast RV Resort, not campground. Gulf Coast RV Resort. All right, now we got that out of the way. Right there is where you would come in. There is a turn lane. Whether you're going, if you're coming. Um, south on 19 or if you're going north on 19 you would just pull right in here even though gp um google maps says keep going and yeah, make a u-turn yeah make a u well they go around under the bridge and come back again but you don't need to do that it is unnecessary is what we're yes. saying uh sites are assigned here yes so um so what we'll do is just kind of do a drive through for you. We'll point out some numbers for your reference, like there's 61 right there, full service, 62, full hookups that is. Now this park is actually our first 30 day stay at a place. Yes. And there are people that book this for three months. Yes. And we'll fill you in on that story in our wrap up. This is where you would come to check in at, get your information and all that. And this is also if you want to have Amazon or UPS or FedEx or UPS drop off, they will drop it off at the uh, inside there for you. What I really like about this place is all the little doggy pots around. There's one right there. So I think we finished with the uh, check-in place here. You have this little corner here to the left. And straight ahead are bathrooms and the laundry facilities. I'll and just take a quick swing around there. And the dumpsters. And this is another entrance to the park right here. Or exit. Depending on how you want to look at it. Off that side road. This is another little cul-de-sac, I guess you might call it. A little loop. There's like site 10, site 9. There are five washers and five dryers inside that laundry room there, plus the bathrooms. And they have propane over here. And there's the dumpsters. And there's woods behind us. Yep. And there's site 6. Now there is a neighborhood in the area where you can walk your dogs. It's a development that's not developed yet and I don't think it ever will be because we understand it's marshland yeah from what we've been told right. it's, it's been like this for seven years so great nice road to walk your dog and a couple of cul-de-sacs mm -hmm. okay 
here you have two options. You can go straight for an inner loop, or we can go to the left and take the outer loop. And, and Gary's car says the outer loop. There we go. And this is about as full as it's been. <laughs> His little dog is chewing. <laughs> little dog wants out. <laughs> So the cool thing about this place is they let you put your rugs down and they allow you to put your doggy kennel out, even though they have a dog run here. So we, we appreciate that. They also allow you to wash your vehicles. Yes. If you choose, you can wash. Yeah, they are, and they're very dog friendly. Our dogs get treats from the, the workers here. Every time they see a car or a golf cart now they think they're supposed yeah. to get a treat I don't really think this is a lot of big rules part the only rule they really have is pick up your dog poop and people do very yep. very seldom do we see dog poop here now we are in the 100s right now back here just for reference you can go online and see their layout there should be a map on there they do have a swimming pool but we have not checked that out yet and probably will not. So there is the pool house right there. And I think there's a laundromat in there, Gary. So this park does have a tiny house, but there are folks out in front of it. But it's like a park model. There's the pool again. Yep. There's the pool from this angle over there. And there's site 125 for your reference. So one thing we noticed about this park is you do have a little bit of room. You're not right up on your neighbor. Some sites are closer than others and some are further apart than others. But even with it this full, and it's been about this full our whole time, wouldn't uh -huh. you say? It's a very quiet, very peaceful park, very friendly folks. And this is where this loop would join with the other loop. Right, so we, that that's the loop that we missed right there. Yeah. As you can see, it's not very big. And what I love about this park too is that space, oops, we are going this way. Yeah. The space. This middle space where that playground is? I have a reason. Mr. D has a reason. Right there. Oh, the dog, dog park. Run. Yeah. So the dog run is that fenced area behind these RVs right here. And it's a nice big dog run with water. And there's the one way down to the pool area. Yeah. I'll go that way. Very cool. Our dogs have enjoyed that park a couple times. A lot of plants. I love um, how some of the RVs here have like made their little yard their yard. It was especially lovely at Christmas, right? Yes, it was. They have a chicken. Oh, scared me. <laughs> it's like yelling. Nice pool. It does look refreshing. It's 145 in this area. 146 over to our right. Just so you know the where we're at. A lot of dogs here. There's a doggy there. And it's about noon right now and it's 71 degrees. In, and a breeze. In Florida. So, very pretty. This is a very pretty oh, piece There's part, part of that loop we missed coming in. Yeah, there's the other part. Yep, to the left. We're going to continue on. So that's a nice site right there, all out by itself, number 52. You do have the road right beside you. 
well, the road on the other side of the wall and this road. And we are almost back to where we started. There's the entrance. And here we are. Site 81. Backed up to the playground area. I like the green space. So that was our tour of Gulf Coast Resort. Gulf Coast RV Resort. Resort. There we go. <laughs> and this is our site. 81 is when we were uh, assigned. Uh, we do have 50 amp service. We've got water. We've got sewer. The park also offers free Wi-Fi and also free cable. Uh, 71 channels, I believe they're on, along with the pool and the playground. So it's not bad. Um, we like our area here. If I could add one thing, maybe a little bit bigger pad. There are no picnic table here and there is no fire ring. So if you want to have a campfire, you have to have your own ring. And we've seen several people with the, the little propane fires or little wood fires out. So you are, the Gulf of Mexico is literally right like over those trees. Right up the street from us here is what's called the Cross Florida Barge Canal, or what would have been the Cross Florida Barge Canal. It's where they started it from the Gulf of Mexico, and it was eventually going to go all the way across the state and run into the St. Johns River and then eventually empty into Jacksonville on the Atlantic side. But that was stopped, thank goodness, because it would have been an ecological disaster for Florida with saltwater intrusion. But that's right up there. There's a boat ramp up there if you want to go out fishing in the salt water. It's all out there. Redfish, snook, uh, trout, go on out at grouper season. It's all, all kind of fishing out there. There's also the Withlacoochee River, which uh, actually there's two parts of it because the barge canal cut it in half. You got two sections, but it's accessible to either section you want if you like river fishing. There is a Walmart, but there are two Walmarts. One is in Lecanto and one's in Donellan. You can look on the map and see where that's at. They're both about a half an hour from here, as far as Walmart goes. The Dollar General, a mile right up the road. And there's also a local, what's it called, food ranch? Yes. Food ranch, ranch um, and like a little independent supermarket close by too. It's a nice supermarket. Yeah. So, now I'm out of breath. We are how far from the Gulf here? The, the Barge Canal is, we're about four miles from the Gulf of Mexico. You can, when you're out in the morning and it's breezy, you can smell the salt air. Yeah. It's so awesome. So, uh, all kinds of restaurants here. That way is, what was the name of the place? It was a clam place. There's shrimp landing up here. And then there's, uh, there's a convenience store. It's got a little Caesar's pizza in it. You go to Crystal River, 10 miles down the road, south on 19. A lot of restaurants, a lot of them are waterfront restaurants yeah. that overlook the Crystal River Bay area. Uh, manatees are up in there. There's also hiking trails. There's an archaeological place where you can go and walk around uh, Indian Mounds. Indian Mounds. Mm -hmm. So there's things to do in this area and go see, well, boat rentals, whatever. Stuff to do here. And kayaking. Whether it be the river, the Barge Canal, the Gulf, the springs, because not far from here is uh, Three Sister Springs, yes. I believe, and Homosassa is not far down the road. So you just you pick your activity you want to do, and there's plenty to do here. Yeah. Also, there is a bike trail within a mile of here that goes along the Barge Canal. That's really pretty. It is called the Bay Shore. Trail. With Lakuchi Bay Trail. Yes, and it is a paved trail, and it is a hiking biking, jogging trail, yes. but there's also some grass trails, part of the birding trail that's out over there as well, that you can hike around the woods and the woodlands, the water areas. Right. And if you're conceited, yeah. So if you're a kayak person that enjoys like kayak fishing, I've actually fished out here a lot, living in Ocala, which is 
little right at an hour from my home where I had to stick some bricks. And all this is pretty shallow out through here, foot, two foot, four foot. It drops about a, mile, a foot, a mile as you go out. So it's like a big shelf out there till it falls. So there's lots of areas out here and, and mangrove islands and all that that you can paddle around and, and fish at or, or just kayak. If you choose just to kayak and look at uh, birds or dolphins, you know, sites like that. Highway 19 out here is sometimes busy, sometimes not. Sometimes you're going to get some road noise here. It's got a big wall here, and once we get inside, we really don't notice it. It doesn't really bother us, but there might be some road noise yeah, from the is, road. Is that, I know it, some people are more sensitive to the road noise. It's not bothering us at all. I mean, we're right here, um, but just be aware that Highway 19 is right there with all that it brings. Now we said at the beginning that we would fill you in on the story of how we ended up here. Well, we had plans and a place to stay. However, at the last minute, some tree work was being done and we were not able to stay there. So if you are traveling and you've read any of the Facebook posts or anything like that on getting into Florida on short notice in the winter time, you know that it is next to impossible, right? So I took a day, actually two days, and I wrote down all the places that I wanted to be, and I started making phone calls. And we ended up getting one month here. We were looking for two months, but we were able to get one month, and since then another month has opened up, but we already made plans. So if you are coming to Florida, you're thinking it is impossible, just be persevere, right? Right. <laughs> because even though we were you know, we, we were a little nervous about finding a place. We ended up having, and I had a couple of options. Uh, one place was expecting cancellation and they said call back. So we're very happy that we landed here. Uh, it was one of the, one of our top choices. So for those that have never been to Florida, um, you want to know what kind of, what something like this cost in this park. Now, of course, all the parks of Florida are all going to be different depending on where you're at. Some of the biggest tourist cities like in the Clearwater area down there. You can spend as much or as yeah. <laughs> about a little as you want. But this park here is um, $6.50 a month. At this moment in time. Yeah, at this moment in time. And $0.14 cents per kilowatt hour you pay for electric. So there's a disclosure on cost. And in all of the parks I was looking at, and that's probably pretty average. Middle of the road. And that was a month, uh, 30 day rate. Yes. 30 day rate. And we're kind of spoiled and we're like, ooh, it's nice being here for a uh, length of time and not having yes. to pack up and move. So 30 days has been quite nice, even though we were back and forth visiting with family and things like that. Um, I've enjoyed our little slice of Florida here. Right. Actually, I guess wraps up our 2021 journey. journey. Right. Yeah. This is 2022. We arrived here in December of 2021 and we'll be leaving here in a few days in 2022. And, and we will be starting our 2022 in in the February. Right. Right. We have a few more things to do, you know, the maintenance on rough road and um, doctors doc, vet appointments and yeah, whatnot. All that stuff. All the good stuff, and um, and then we'll be heading south, and then north, and then west, ish. Maybe not necessarily drastically. Drastic west this year. So we're going to end our tour of this RV resort here, Gulf Coast RV Resort. Wishing you a safe journeys and a very happy, successful 2022. This is Gary, Sharon, dogs are asleep, <laughs> Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. And we're gonna look at a lot more different freedom next year in a lot of states well, that we haven't been to. This year. That's right, this year, not last year, <laughs> this year. In 2022. This last year, new year, this year.
Yes. Yes. <laughs> so take care. We hope to see you on the road sometime. Safe travels. Bye. Bye. Florida, where you really appreciate the shade, right? For now. Did I say water?